the 70s were about that attempt that we made to carve out a place for ourselves in society that had never been done before. It is a big deal. 1981 was when things really began to change. We had patients that came through with this illness. Within a month or two, boom, he was gone. Nearly 3,000 cases of AIDS have already hit this city. Nobody even knew how it was uh, spread. They wanted to quarantine us on an island. I had seen patients being marginalized, and I just found it infuriating. We were expected to wear what we called spacesuits, and some would refuse to give care. We have to do something. At San Francisco General Hospital, the staff is gearing up for the opening of a special wing to treat AIDS victims. The nurses there physically built that ward. They made the rules as they went along. <laughs> I don't want nobody here to give up. And I don't think that they will. I saw what a toll it was taking on us. I was drinking more every night. I remember having recurrent nightmares. We were being attacked on all fronts, politically, medically. There was a guy who had applied for insurance, and they couldn't ask him if he was gay. So they said, have you ever worked as a florist, a hairdresser, or a decorator? There were still nurses operating from fear. They went to the union. We don't want to take care of these people. I might have some anxiety about this, but I'm more pissed off and angry than I am scared. Why not bring life and laughter and joy? This was a tangible thing you could do. It's just part of nursing. They stood up when nobody else would, and they were willing to take those risks. And they're all kind of kick-ass, even the straight ones.